know that vomiting is a very important symptom okay now vomiting invariably suggests gastric outlet obstruction which is a non non bilious type okay i'm talking only in terms of ca stomach or gastric outlet obstruction secondary to peptic ulcer okay gastric outlet obstruction the common question they ask you is how do you differentiate between a benign and a malignant cause of gastric outlet obstruction based on the history of vomiting be it benign be it malignant patient will still have vomiting how do you differentiate between the two okay so let's just jot down benign and malignant okay very simple concept in benign we know that if this is the stomach you're going to have a peptic ulcer which eventually leads to scarring in this area and there is a block okay if not a block at least initial stages there will be scarring and narrowing okay and only then it becomes a block so whenever there is narrowing and it takes place slowly correct it doesn't happen overnight this narrowing happens gradually over a period of weeks to months so it is very slow so what happens we know that the stomach is made up of muscles so these muscles will continue to push against resistance so when they push what will happen there will be hypertrophy of the muscles that is one thing second the stomach will go on distending because it's a slow process so the stomach will become huge like this okay and one fine day they will become complete obstruction so that is when you are going to have a complete obstruction over a period of time now please understand the stomach is so huge it can accommodate a lot and lot of food so now let's assume the patient has had something to eat his breakfast will be here he'll have enough space for that then he'll eat his lunch he's still comfortable the lunch also will sit then he'll have enough space to even have the dinner also okay even dinner also he'll eat okay and then he'll vomit once it completely fills up the stomach then he'll have vomiting okay so the characteristic feature is that this vomiting will happen hours many hours or sometimes even one or two days one or this is not half a day sorry one or two days after consumption of a meal okay so it happens hours and days after the consumption and the vomitus that is a food particle will contain old ingested particles when i say old that means if he vomits today morning they might contain food of something he's eaten yesterday morning or yesterday afternoon okay it need not have only whatever is eaten now so you will assume just because he's eaten yesterday if he vomits today it has to be today morning's breakfast no that is because the stomach is distended it has so much capacity he will throw up or it will contain old ingested particles now let's look at the malignant bit of it so you have a stomach and you have a growth here okay this is the cancer now for food to go along or to go down it needs to the stomach should have peristalsis and for the stomach to have peristalsis uh that mesners and the orbax plexus are very important okay but in a case of ca stomach we know that it infiltrates okay the cancer goes on infiltrating into the layers of the stomach so eventually they will infiltrate the mesners and orbax plexus so they have reduced peristalsis okay this is the first concept that you need to understand there is reduced peristalsis in a case of ca stomach because the cancer infiltrates into the muscle wall and the muscle wall contains or, or the stomach wall and the stomach wall contains both the mesners and the orbax plexus and once these are infiltrated there'll be decreased peristalsis so there'll be stasis of food okay it doesn't go into the duodenum that is the first one second point is we know that in ca stomach the growth is very fast it is an aggressive tumor okay so it is a fast fast growth of fast growth of the tumor where it goes and causes gastric outlet obstruction rapidly 
when i say rapidly it happens in a matter of few days so when it happens in a matter of few days the stomach doesn't have enough time to distend okay the stomach is not used to it earlier at least it's kept on pushing 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 so over a period of months it has become big but in very few days it tries to push it's unable to push so the only thing it can do is push the food out so the patient will have vomiting so when because of these two reasons the patient is going to have vomiting immediately okay immediately means not as soon as he eats food but within half an hour so here it's actually half an hour within half an hour of eating the food the patient will vomit either because of gastric outlet obstruction okay because of rapid growth in gastric outlet obstruction or because of stasis of food because the food is unable to go anywhere or the tumor has taken up the entire stomach there is no area for the food to go so the food will stay there and whenever something happens the food tries to come out so it happens very fast